So this is Texas. A lot of nothing. But we make do. You only have one life, so why are you going to bother wasting it with unimportant things? Instead, you should be worried about being the best that you can be at all times. Beautiful man. <laughs> My ways are complete body control. I want to have ultimate control of myself at all times, both physically and mentally. So not worrying about being stressed about bills or what's going to happen tomorrow. Just live in the moment because that's all that you have. If you worry too much about what's happening or what's going to happen or what has happened, you are going to mess up the present, and that's especially to during training or doing movement. I'm Mike Avery, 22 years old. I am from San Antonio, Texas. I coach parkour, free running, and gymnastics. I am also a organizer for the Parkour Skate Bike Association in Live Oak, which is a youth group whose goal is to make a fitness park, which has skateboarding, biking, parkour, playground, all fitness. You can't think about all the little things. Just be in the moment, focus on what you're doing at this time, and put 100% into it, and it's easy. I've been training parkour and free running for over seven years now. My knowledge of movement has very much grown with me and it all pretty much comes down to, like I said, understanding how your body moves. So the best way I can put it is there's lines of energy that go through your whole body. I mean, energy comes from something. We all have energy. And once you understand how to untangle these lines of energy, then you can do anything that you want to. We've been taught how to work, how to live, how to think. It's very blocky, is how I would describe it. Instead of being smooth and fluid like water, we're taught to, you know, this goes here, that goes there. You have to do it this way but it doesn't always work like that. You have to understand that you work differently than anybody else. So the way you go about something is going to be completely different from how anybody else is going to go about it. I see the difference in movement philosophies from kids to adults. And kids are free, they don't understand how not to do something wrong, they're just going to do it the best way that they can. If they want to get up on something, they're going to figure out a way to get up it. They're going to use their arms, their elbows, their legs, their butts, whatever. But growing up, we've been taught you, know, you have to only go on the path. You can't stay anywhere else. You have to stay on this path. You have to use your two feet. You have to go this way or that way or that way. That's not how it is. We have full range all the time and that's what kids understand is that there are no wrong ways to do this stuff. People have been doing parkour their entire lives, even centuries ago, you know, it was just basic, how did I need to survive, what did I need, I needed to move, I needed to think, it's getting back in touch with nature, instead of shunning nature, we need to get back in tune with natural everything. So natural movement, natural thinking, you know, uh, it's helped me understand physics pretty much. I've never taken physics, but because of this, I understand it's all natural physics. You can't force anything. It's always, you know, how can you manipulate what you have in a natural way? You are all you need. I'm all I need. So why do we need to 
try to show off and be bigger and better than everybody else because you're the best at that time. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, right now is the only thing that matters. You're the best at it. Just keep pushing it, just keep progressing, always trying to be better than who you were. My favorite experiences from training was the first time I decided to go out of state for a jam. I was 16 years old and I went to the Denver, Colorado jam. I'd never met people before and guys from Arizona told me, hey, we got an extra room, we got an extra bed, go ahead and you can room with us, don't worry about anything, we got your ride, we got your room, just let's go train together. And that was one of the biggest influences of my whole training career is meeting with these guys and just automatically we're all brothers. It's a family. It's not a competition. It's always been about how can we help ourselves and help others be better. Progression, you know. Always, always progression, one way or another. First and most important thing is when understanding parkour or free running or training or anything like that is it has to be fun. You've got to be comfortable with what you're doing, be comfortable with your body, and completely at peace. Definitely get more fulfillment out of, you know, proving to yourself that you can do this thing that you thought was impossible a year ago or two years ago or five years ago. It's always self-progression through the use of the natural environment. And from that, I've gotten more happiness than going and buying a new car or buying a new computer, getting a new video game. Because it's something that I've done for myself. And that truly is what's important is what you can see the improvement from. Now I'm all about the fitness. So one little video, one little thing has changed my whole perception of what I want out of life, what I want to put into life, how I'm going to make a difference. I'm not just going to live, I'm going to help others on their journey just like I've had people help me on mine. Parkour is not in my life, parkour is my life. I've been training for many, many years through high school. Um, I decided not to go to college. Instead, I decided to keep training. And from that, I've gotten to a career in coaching. So if you follow your heart, if you really, really, truly have a passion for something, you can always make it. It's definitely gone from just a fun thing to do to sort of a meditation. I, I dedicate myself to practicing in the movement, in the moment of movement. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Maybe not right now, maybe not in five years, but if that's something that you want to work towards, if that is your goal, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do going towards that goal, you will get stronger, the strength will come over time, because strength is the easy thing to build. The philosophy, the, the truth behind the movement is what's hard to understand until you put time and effort into it, and then once that happens, it's super easy to do anything. As long as you're putting 100% of effort into whatever you're trying, then you're going to be able to do it. A friend recommended a book to me recently, The Outdoor Athlete by Steve Dild. In it he says, there are certain lines of inner energy, an intangible avenue of force that governs all movement. Once I read that, I understood that this book was speaking to me. It's all the things that I've started to understand through the philosophy of my movement. Once the energy is free to flow, you only have to direct it, making the impossible effortless as anything else. My main goal in life now is to help inspire others to get out there, to push themselves to be better than they can imagine themselves to be. 
So that is what I've taken upon myself to do is get out there, inspire others the way that others inspired me, and be there for the new generations that I didn't have growing up. I'll leave you guys with this one last word of advice. Impossible is just a good challenge.